Alright, welcome back to another Japan Book Hunter. And I've been trying to pump out more and more YouTube videos because I have a little bit more free time in my schedule these days. So, let's take a look at some Mochizuki Minetaro. So these here, of course, Mochizuki Minetaro is most famous for Dragon Head because it was translated into English and released in North America. I don't remember who released it. It might have been Viz Media even. I think it was around nine volumes or something, but he's also done a lot of one shots, illustrations and kind of side projects. This is a bit one that he's pretty famous for. This is Zashiki Ona, um, it means like the woman in the room. It's a female stalker story. This is a college kid, and then this is a woman that's stalking him. But is she a woman? Is she a yokai? Is she a ghost? Is she an apparition? We don't know without reading it. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty spooky one. I dig it. I dig it a lot. Um, some people have mixed uh, mixed opinions about the artwork of Mochizuki Minetaro, but I am going to change that opinion as we look through some other stuff here. And uh, this was released in 1993. See, look at this, look at this psycho, psycho stalker. He has a kicker in the belly. She's trying to hit him in the head with a brick. Oh, she does. Man, it's been a while since, a while since I read this one, but it's a spooky one. And uh, this is out on the shelves right now. This is a mook. A mook is like kind of like a, a breakdown of all things something. You know, they have mooks about Vietnam War. They have mooks about uh, Gundam. They have mooks about uh, Ikegami Ryoichi. And this one is Mochizuki Menataro. Um, this is on the shelves now. You can probably go to Amazon.com and find this. It's well worth buying. And it's packed full of artwork, illustrations from his various series. So this is what we're going to be looking at today. There's the famous cover of Zashiki Ona. Ooh, there's Dragon Head. Okay, there's, there's our Dragon Head reference. You know, the school, kids are on a school trip. They're in a tunnel in a, on a Shinkansen train. Tunnel collapses for some reason. Everyone dies except for three people. And then we have our ensuing adventure Chisako Bay is the, his newest series, which I haven't read yet, but uh, I'm going to get into it one of these days soon. You know, I'm so stuck in 70s manga that there's our famous dragon head character, um, but I, that I just am all constantly reading retro stuff. I need to read a little bit more newer stuff. I'm reading some Taiyo Matsumoto now, some Atsushi Kaneko, of course, Evil. So there is some stuff that's newer that I'm reading these days. So we got some manga in here. It's kind of sci-fi manga. We have interviews, interviews with Mochizuki, interviews with his fans and fellow collaborators. More awesome illustrations. I'm telling you, for whatever it is, you know, 18 bucks, this book is well worth picking up. And I love seeing mangaka workstations. Very cool. And I love these, just analyzing what books they have on their shelves. So fun. At the Miura Kentaro Memorial Exhibition, they had a replica of his desk. It was so awesome. It was amazing. At the Bronson, the Fist of the North Star 40th Anniversary Exhibition, they had a giant picture of uh, Bronson's desk. And you can see like what his reference materials were, what his tools are. Very cool. But that's not what we're here for today. We're here for Isle of Dogs, based on the famous Wes Anderson film. Um, a lot of manga will be made as promotion for movies that come out, especially in the 90s and the 2000s. So it's rare to get newer ones. But for example, they did the 13 volume X-Men series when the first X-Men was released in the 90s. I, what was that, 96, something like that? Um, they did a Waterworld one, you know, opens with Kevin Costner drinking his own pee-pee. Nice and fun. And Mochizuki Minetaro did this in collaboration with Wes Anderson for the release and promo for the release of Isle of Dogs. Of course, Isle of Dogs is set in Japan on an island. 
um, where they have thrown all the dogs who are banished, if not killed. But the cool thing about this is, is that the story is a little bit different than the movie because the movie's, you know, hour and 15 minutes long. You can't make that into a manga, not into like a hardcover, you know, thin manga like this. It's more like a picture book, like a children's picture book. So written by Wes Anderson, illustrated by Mochizuki Minetaro. Of course, Spot is taken away from the boy. God, what's the boy's name? Akira? Is his name Akira? Leave me alone! Ah! Off to the island on a quest. That's an amazing page right there. All those feral dogs. Um, I do have this for sale up on japanbookhunter.com where I sell my books. I post rare books on Instagram, Japan Book Hunter, and Japan Book Hunter, of course, here on YouTube and on TikTok. So hop on over to all of our S and S. And if you're looking for any rad books, hit that search bar, japanbookhunter.com, put an Isle of Dogs, and one of these will pop up, baby. I wish there was a bit more color in this. They did some more color pages, but the artwork is still amazing. Plus, I've never seen Wes Anderson in manga form. This might be the only... Wouldn't it be rad if there was a Royal Tenenbaums in manga form? Jeez, that would be so funny. Darjeeling Express. Go Menasai, go Menasai, go Menasai. I mean, the man can draw. Some ninja biscuits. And there he is meeting the clan of castaway dogs. Very emotional. Love the movie. I know a couple people online were kind of being haters, like something about cultural appropriation or something like that. But I think Wes Anderson really, he really hit it. He did well with the, with the backgrounds, the cityscapes, the Japanese was done well. Um, I have nothing bad to say about it, but there we are back in the world. This came out in 2018, obviously to promote the movie. And that my fine friends is Isle of Dogs by Mochizuki Minetaro. Yeah, I sell all my books at japanbookhunter.com. So hop on over there, hop on our S and S, um, expensive and rare stuff. Like you want a Kaba too, you want a, uh, a world apartment horror you want something that's really hard to get it's not going to be up on the website that's what i'm going to post those on instagram because they're almost impossible to restock my friends and uh until next time matane.